What's up everybody? Welcome to Improvised Chaos. So I ended up uh, nitrating some erythritol, um, not for the first time, but I think I did it for the first time right this time. And um, I went ahead and got some um, good ingredients and um, and did it, did it right. So this is the um, type of erythritol that I use. And um, I did a um, one in four ratio. So I used 60 grams of an oxidizer and or nitrate, excuse me. And um, I, then I used um, a quarter of that weight and um, erythritol. And um, I ended up um, using 100 mils of acid catalyst. And um, I think I nitrated it for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and uh, I, it took me around, I, I went ahead and I added about half of my um, nitrate first. And when that was, um, you know, kept at the right temperature and um, I went ahead and then mixed my erythritol in with the remaining uh, nitrate and um, then added that in as a pair. And um, it took about an hour, roughly um, a little bit longer maybe to um, add all the ingredients um, the consistency became that of uh, pancake batter and um, my uh, magnetic stirrer was really struggling to keep up and uh, I was having to help her, help her out but we got it done and um, soon, what I basically did was when it got to a super super thin, uh, thick consistency I um, pulled it out of the ice bath and um, stirred it in, and watched it until the temperature rose to 20 roughly Celsius I kept it around in between 15 and 20 uh, through the whole entire process and I never let it get over 20 and I never let it get below 15. Um, I didn't have any um, gas off really. I mean, you know, you can always blow on it and, and you see your nitration process happening. But as far as the, um, the toxic fumes that you can get whenever the, um, you either add the ingredients in too fast or and or you know you get too hot if you've ever done that you know exactly what i'm talking about it's not pleasant um so this is the product i was in it i was able to um yield uh 25 and a half crystallized grams um the i i lost about three three and a half grams in the uh, crystallization process um i had a um white pro a white product the entire time um, I've heard sometimes people get a a pay, a, be, a, pay, a beige or tan color product. I, I I never have, but so that's that's the product. I we're gonna do this test. I got I went ahead and plasticized. That's about 17, 17 18 grams. Uh, and uh, you see this plate right here. We're gonna we're gonna take this detonator that I made real quick and fast and in a hurry, as you can see. Um, what it consists of is, an, an, I had a big tube, so that's why it's so big, but it's an initiator, primary, and our secondary is uh, ETN, and that's roughly four to five grams, very, very hard pressed ETN. Um, I want, I, the reason I went big on everything is just because I, I wanted to in, uh, ensure a detonation. I just, really, I'm getting to kind of see a baseline of the product that I, that I made. I already tested it in folds of foil on the stove or on an electric burner, excuse me. Um, and it, it hands down outperforms anything I've ever made. Let's just say that. Um, I've never even attempted to do plates like this because I've never had something to worth, you know, blowing up. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps out a lot. Um, I'm going to keep making videos like this as long as I can. And um, I hope you guys like them. So good evening and thanks for joining me. All right. Bye.